Hello guys and girls, how's it going? Screezily here and I hope you're all well. And you join me today in the JU-188A2, the new bomber for the German Air, Air Forces. And, um, yeah, this thing has one hell of a payload to it. This thing is one hell of a bomber for carrying bombs. Unfortunately, this thing is a BR of 5.0, sorry, 5.3 even. Um, which is not good for you. Not good at all. This plane starts at the mid-bomber altitude, so you're, you're sort of starting around about the 10,000 feet mark. The plane is powered by two, uh, two UMO engines. Uh, they are the... I can't remember which UMOs they are. Um, but it's powered by two UMO engines, um... And because it's the A2, it's got a methanol water injection system to inside of it, just to allow for a little bit of extra punch for takeoff, to give it a little bit more power for takeoff. Because this thing has a ridiculous payload to it. As you can see, we have two 250 kilogram bombs, two 1,000 pound bombs, and then 10, I think? Yes, 10. 50 kilogram bombs. We have a lot of bombs on board. And it's very slow. Let's put it that way. This thing is not going to win a airspeed record. It, it's not going to set the world on fire for speed. It's extremely slow. It's not that agile either. This plane is effectively a JU-88. The only difference is it's got a slightly improved nose section and slightly better engines. Now the actual engines themselves were designed to take the uh, Dumo engine and the, um, what was it? I think it was the BMW engine. Um, it was designed to take a couple of different engine layouts and that's why you sort of see the, the rounded design there but basically the engine nestles were designed to take sort of any engine that you could throw in it basically because they weren't sure what was going to power it so you could either have the UMO213 series or the BMW801 series and both would work fine and that was designed from the start with this plane so it had both options available to it which is great a really good little design part for the plane. Very, very useful. Um, it was a stopgap plane. This this plane was designed to basically be there while they were building the JU-288. And effectively, this is like a, my first JU-288. Apart from it lacks the speed. It's so very slow, and at 5.3, you're going to have so much prob trouble with this plane. Um, just getting to a target, let alone dropping on a target. Because you're going to be facing some serious op opposition. Now, you do have some defensive weaponry to help you. Um, it's not very good, but it is there. You have a couple of 20mm, you have a couple of 13mm, um, you have a 16 point, you have a 7.62mm. Um... But that is pretty much all you've got. Which isn't much when you think about it. The other thing about this plane is it has horrible cruising speed. As you can see, we're just getting to the first base and we're about to get wiped out by a P-47. So try and get our bombs off here. And we'll try and get some shots off on this guy. There's another guy coming in on us, so... We have to try and manoeuvre out of the way and we managed to duck down but we've still got two P-47s on our rear which is not good and we've taken a lot of damage already. So we've got two P-47s coming in and we're not going to be able to take much damage from these guys. We get a crit. Will we get a kill here? Our guns are reloading. We're not going to get reloaded in time, are we? 
we are very much going down. We are in a lot of trouble right now. Our plane is very much dead. And down we go. And that's literally this plane. It, it just gets absolutely ruffle stomped by enemy interceptors. And there's not much you can do about it. Because this plane is so very slow, you can't really do much. Um, we got a we we got a hit on the on the uh, P forty seven. Um, we might get an assist for that. I doubt it, but we might. Uh, the problem is the gun layout is terrible. As you can see, we've got a very poor gun layout, and you just can't use this plane. It's unusable at its BR. It's simply too high a BR, really, which is unfortunate because. It's an interesting plane, and it's a plane deserving of being in the game. Unfortunately, the Gaijin has just made this into a plane that does nothing. It it can't be used. It has no purpose in the game, even as a bomber. Let's just return to the hangar, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this plane sits at 5.3, which is a hell of a high rating. It has a decent payload capability to it. You can carry... If we just look at the uh, details for modifications, no, modifications. You can see that you have lots of different payload options and you can carry a lot of bombs. Um, you know, carrying, you know, just sort of like 6,000 tonnes of bombs is ridiculous. 6,000 kilograms of bombs is ridiculous. Um, you, you can carry a lot of payload with this thing. Um, as you can see, you can get the 1800 bomb with a single 1000 kilogram bomb. You can get a 1800 with two 250, sorry, three 250s, sorry, which is a decent payload. But it's not really enough to do much with. And with those payloads, you really do suffer. As you can see, I've not got much unlocked at the moment. I've just got the bombs unlocked, the normal things that I would go down. Um, but you've got the payload to take out two bases if you're lucky, but you're never going to get that opportunity. You have got some armour for your pilot and your gunners, but it's not much. Um, really, it's not ideal. The fuel tank's directly behind the crew, and that's constantly going to get set on fire. And because it's not a Russian plane, it will simply never put itself out. So that's always frustrating. Um, like all Russian planes, uh, so like sorry, all planes that aren't Russian, fires never go out on your plane. The 20mm has a strange firing arc. It fires at this direction and this angle and doesn't really go down much more. You can't, you can't fire it at a lower vector than that. So if a plane's sitting on your tail, the only thing you can fire at it is a 13mm machine gun, which is not great. You've got a 7.62 in, 7.92, sorry, underneath in the uh, carousel. And then you have a 20mm in front. You have five crew members. So your plane is basically made a crew, even though historically this only had four crew members. Um, the, I believe the, uh, I'm not sure actually who we've got in here that's extra, but from what I've seen from all the resources, it was a four-man crew, not a five-man crew. I imagine the uh, gondola gunner was uh, sort of working with this uh, this this chap on the 13 millimeter worked with the gondola as well. Um, usually, you had sort of two positions. So, yeah, it, it's a real disappointment. And as I said, a 5.3, it's ridiculous. This thing is so slow; it has no speed to it. Um, if we look to example for Another 5.3, the HE-177. It's much faster, better payload, better defensive guns, and it starts at a higher altitude. This has that mid-range bomber altitude start, which kills it, because it hasn't got enough speed to climb. It can't climb. You can't take off again with this plane if you've got a full payload of bombs, which is just frustrating. The ME-264 is a much better option, a much better payload range, um, better defensive, and also that higher start. 
The only things that come close to it are things like the Doe 17s. And again, they're similar in their speeds. They've got similar speed ranges. Uh, payload is better in some respects because you can carry 4,000 kilograms worth of bombs. So you can effectively take out two bases. Uh, you've got a better payload option. This plane has no real reason to be here, and I don't know why they chose the A-2. The A-3 would have been a much better option, because that was a torpedo variant. It had torpedo armaments to it, as well as a, a ra basic radar system for ground targets, for ship hunting. It would have made more sense to have that plane in there than the A-2. The A-2 simply just doesn't work. And at 5.3, you're generally going to be facing up to 6.3. You generally get up-tiered more times than you get down-tiered. So you're facing off against some serious planes at that. If we look at the plane ranges at 4.3 to 6.3, you've got the top-end Mustang, the, the P-55, sorry, P-51-5NA. You've got all the P-51s, you've got the P-47s, You've got the F8, F8F1s, you've got the Corsairs, you've got some of the best Spitfires, you've got Griffins, you've got the Sea Fury, you've got the Tempests, you've got serious opposition. And that's not mentioning things like the, uh, the jet that America has, the um, P-59. You know, again, it's a, it's a plane that you're going to be facing quite often, and that outclimbs you, and it has better speed than you. Its its speed is more than 100 miles per hour faster. You know, all these planes are faster than 100 miles per hour to you. 100 mile per hour difference. Russia, even. You know, the Russian planes that you'll be fighting constantly are so much faster than you. They have much more speed. And you've got this German bomber that is very bad on its attack angles, very slow, and just an easy target at 5.3. And when you compare it against other bombers, because that's what you have to do, things like the Halifax has a greater payload, and that's at 4.0. The Short Sterlings, better payload, 4.7, 5.0. The Lancaster, a much better payload, 5.3. The Lancaster with a 50 cal in the tail, much better at 5.3. These planes are much better, and of course they get the high altitude spawn. They're not a medium bomber. Um, Italy, for example. The P-108 is a much better bomber at 3.3. It's two BRs lower. It makes no sense. Um, even the French, you know, with... The MB-162 has a heavy bomber that has a better altitude start, is faster, and has a better payload. Sweden has the B-18s, which are probably the closest to match, but they're almost twice as fast as it. And they have good guns. Um, the T-18B-2 is 4.3 for crying out loud. And it's a much better plane. This thing hunts planes. This thing you can get an ace in without problem. Uh, it just makes no sense having this plane of 5.3. It's simply too high a BR. And it makes no sense. It just, I don't understand their logic behind it. This would work at 4.3. It would be fine at 4.3. Its payload is pretty heavy, but 5.3 is simply too high for it. It's an utterly worthless plane at this BR, which is a real shame, because it's an interesting plane, and it's a plane that deserves to be in the game. But it's a plane that simply has no purpose and no use in the game as it stands. Okay, guys, well, I hope you've enjoyed that rant. Um, look, honestly, if you're looking at getting this plane, if you are going down the German tech tree, you have to unlock it. Don't play it. Just leave it unaced don't use it it's not worth using you're better off using the me264 to grind up to the he177 the only benefit this thing has is a low repair cost and even that will get screwed over at some stage um the doe 217s are a much better option they're faster for one and 
they carry better payloads, and usually they have a much better defensive armament. This plane simply just has no purpose, no use in being in this spot. It is just simply outmatched by everything. Alright guys, until next time, this is me, Screezilla, out. Bye-bye.